Singing praises about Kobe Minor and Ian Wright um, just tweeted, or X, put it on X anyways. Kobe Minor has to be in the next England squad. Such maturity in chaotic conditions that we've not seen from an England player in a long time. Impressed every time I watch him. Does he deserve a spot in the next England squad? Well, if you're going to take a wild card, right? If you look at the squad that he's got mm -hmm. and you're going to take a wild card. At the moment, let's be honest, right? Phillips right now shouldn't shouldn't be in consideration yeah, especially he's, he's, what happened yesterday as well, well. Not, not just what happened yesterday yeah. he's not in good form mm. he's not playing he's not well. mentally and he's, he's not, he's, he's not good playing as well. so yeah. and, and we know gareth's very loyal to the players that are around mm. him right mm. but if you're going to take a wild card for somebody who you think can bring something to the table the more and more i see about this young kid mm. i don't think it will phase him mm. i don't think is it it'll not phase too soon we've only seen it's Could be mindful for a save. Well, well he's, he's, he's a games. teenager. Mm. You know, look, look at Bellingham as a teenager, yes. for example. So if you're good enough... If you're good enough, you're, you're old, old enough. enough. Yeah. Yes. No problem. Yeah. But like, we're watching him there in this game, and it's not the first time I've seen it from him, we were just picking up... And Ian Wright's mentioned the, you know, the chaos. He's so calm, and he's always got a little slip pass. He makes, a, makes the right decision, Gary Cody. keeps making consistent... Consistently, he makes the right decisions. And that's surprising to play in that position in For the centre age. where everything's going around For a young you. Age. To keep making so to the right decisions. To have that vision as well. Exactly. His booking, exactly. Wasn't, a, his booking wasn't a booking. It no, was it wasn't. actually it was a, great a very, tackle. very good tackle. It was a fantastic tackle. So, 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 yeah, he's a super player. Super young player. Super when when young you're managing player. an international side and you think you, you're obviously observing and looking at some of these young players, what are some of the key criteria that you look at to consider and what are some of the, like, sort of negative things that you look at before you think about putting them in the squad or having a call-up for them? Well, I think for England it's different to Wales because yeah. with Wales we didn't have the big massive pool of players. But if you Gareth Southgate and you're in England and you're picking a squad, he's got to be looking, Gareth will be looking at this kid and thinking that there's going to be a moment where I'm going to, if he keeps on doing what he's doing and developing as, as, as quickly as he, he is developing, it's inevitable that he's going to end up in the England setup. It's inevitable. Yeah, it's just a question of when. It's just a question of when, because it's about the fourth or fifth time I've seen him play. Um, and I'm struggling to find uh, a negative for, mm. the, for this boy. I'm struggling to find a negative. Everything he does, it looks like he's... He, he reminds me, he has the impact on Manchester United in the centre of the pitch, and this is a big call, but when Claude McAlealy came to Chelsea and he was an out-and-out -out defensive number six, pulling the strings, sitting in front of the two centre-backs. But this kid is, was he 18, is he? 18. Mm -hmm. He's 18. 18. Well, it's wasn't amazing. It, amazing. Yeah, wasn't it Manchester United wanted to get um, Frankie de Jong in, in that midfield? Yeah. Could yeah. Kobe Mainu be that Frankie de Jong figure? Well, listen, I, I think what we've got to be careful of here, right, is, it, is a lot of times somebody comes on the scene and we go over the top. Mm. I don't think we are doing that with this young kid. Mm. I see him being put in, I think uh, Ten Hag put him in against Everton. It was the first time I've seen him this season away. Yeah. And I see when the two centre-halves are split, he's dropped in, he's got yeah. the ball, yeah. he's dictating the game at that young age. But to be comfortable on the ball, today what surprised me, because Luton Town, that pitch is so small, and his awareness of around him in tight areas to move the ball on, his composure, it's only going to bode well in the future for England, that is for sure. I mean, I think for Gareth, pretty, pretty much largely squad is chosen. Mm. I don't think there'll be too many surprises, but when you've got players who are out of form, like Phillips, who you'd normally take, then why not take a young kid like this? Because, let's be honest with you, I know the FA are talking and they've already come out about giving Gareth a, a contract. And I'm not a Gareth basher. I think Gareth's done really, really well for England. But what I'm saying now, with the squad of players we've got, it's not unfair to expect us to mm. be looking at at least the semi-final or the final. Semi-final's not good enough for Gareth, to, for me, no. to, to go forward after the Euros. It's not good enough. So why not be adventurous and take a player like that? Because young players play without no fear, don't they? But he he, this kid certainly has no fear. Certainly, yeah. It looks like he's been there 10 years. He's so confident. Yeah, but Gareth does have this tendency of going back to players that he trusts more than anything, than giving opportunities yeah. to young I think, players. I think you have to be really careful how you manage mm. young players. Um, and, you know, when you push them forward and, and when you promote them up and through, 
Um, and certainly the next step is, of course, once you've established yourself at club level, is international level. Mm. Um, but looking at Kobe Mainu, I, I, I can't see there's anything that concerns me. You know, he's got a great temperament, he's got all the technical ability, he's got the awareness, he's got the, the football brain of a, a senior player, but he's still a junior, he's a teenager. Yeah. Um, but um, it looks bright for him, and therefore it looks bright for Manchester United. Did you give the debut for Harry Wilson, by yes. the way? Yeah. yeah. How, yeah. Did, how did you go about managing a young player? Like well, that? Harry was 16 at the time, and we'd had, we were playing away to Belgium, and we'd had 15 players pull out of the squad. It was just one of those crazy situations. So, you know, we had basically nowhere else to go. So Harry was in the squad, um, and there was rumours of England were looking looking at him strongly. Um, so with the last, with I think 20 minutes remaining, I, I, I thought, because it was the end of my first campaign and I didn't know whether I was going to sign a new contract with Wills, mm -hmm. but I thought if I get one thing right, it'll be him. <laughs> I'll make sure he plays for Wills and his future is, the next 10 years is going to be with Wills. So we give him his debut, did very well. Um, but I wouldn't have done it. The circumstances were right. It was the last game of the campaign. We couldn't qualify. We were 1-0 down. There was 20 minutes remaining. If the circumstances were right, um, and we, we give him his debut, and of course the rest, the rest is history. I mean, but, but Chris, as an international manager now, right, yeah. and you're coming up to the Euros, yeah. say if you're an England manager now, I'm asking you a question now. Yeah. Having had the time that he's had, yeah. and he has been successful, there'd be no doubt about that, but he has to go as close as he can to win this tournament. Mm -hmm. Do you be brave with your selection? With your... I, think, I think even if it's taking all those elements out of that equation, even if it's just his first tournament, you've got to go and be brave and you've got to pick the best squad that you think is going to get you as far as you can, or even if you're England, to try to win it. So whether it's his first campaign, third foot, whatever, he's finished sitting in the semi-final, he's lost in the final, Gareth will look at this and you have to go, this could be my last campaign, regardless who are the best players I can get together that's going to make a huge impact in this tournament. And I, I, think, I don't think he'll be thinking, you know, OK, if I'm not going to be here, I'm going to bring a few young players through. He won't think, he'll be ruthless and he has to be and say, right, I'm going to, the people on this plane are the best, whether they're 32 or 22, they're the best players right now for England that's going to get us to where we need to go. Because in the Euros, I don't sure. know if you agree with me, I'm looking in the Euro at Wembley mm. and I'm looking at that game against Italy. And if you can look at the bench and affect the game, I'm looking at him and saying, well, go on, affect the game. He, he planned to go extra time and penalties, if that was the case. And if you're going to win something, Sir Alex Ferguson, he, he would have gone... I, I, we, we lost the league title when we went to Sheffield Wednesday. We went to Old Trafford. He, 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 he took off <laughs> all, all the he took off all the defenders, put all the strikers on. Steve Bruce scored in the 93rd and 94th minute, and they went on to win the league title. I think that's where you've got to just be really, really brave. I think as well, in fairness to him, though, big fella, it's the first final England have been in since 1966. Yeah, I'm right in saying that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, know, you know what it's like with England, the euphoria surrounding England and the pressure. To get to the final and then they score early, they go one up against a very good Italy team. Um, they score really early. Sometimes you can score too early. But, of course, Italy were a very good team, come back into the game. And there's so much hanging on that game. I think for us, because I've, well, I've been there myself, not in the final, but in those big games, and you're very much looking at it play by play seconds, minutes, right, are, they, are, are Italy coming strong? Do we need to, like, close the gate here because they, or, or are we, are, have we got the momentum? Then we'll put more offensive players on and try to, looks like we can feel we, their vibration is with us, we're going to win the game. And I think in that game, I never felt like towards the end of the game it was going to be England to win it. I just could smell something yeah. from Italy, mm. they, whether it was because they'd won so many tournaments, the, the, the experience they've got. I just felt England, uh, Italy were going to go on and win it. And I thought at the end, Gareth was thinking, we've just got to stay in it. Yeah. Maybe. You know, we've got to yeah. stay in the game. 